<laughs> I'm trying to make it inside that stuff before it starts working. What I'm going to do is now pull the cord inside and see if I can speed right inside the car before the program starts. Alright, seven. Starting. Someone started. Made it. It's about to be so damn hot inside this. Now the wheels are being done. But God, it's steamy hot. Now the front wheels. Like a storm. Your car needs some loving from time to time. And then when it's done, it dries it as usual. And then it sprays like a layer of cannibal wax, I guess, like a liquid wax on it so just to protect it from UV exposure. I need to try and scratch off this dirt there. Let me see if I can catch that before it comes. Uh oh. Oh, now it's getting to the drying part. The funniest thing about this machine is it doesn't do nearly as good as a perfect job. All right, so it says green light. It means time to go. So now I'm gonna go to my favorite vacuuming spot just to inspect how much of a perfect job it did. spot it's nowhere near perfect but if you're lazy you don't want to do your own washing by yourself So now what I'm gonna do is go back and finish those spots where the bird shadow my hood and finish it by hand. Paid so much and couldn't get anywhere near a perfect job. Finishing the job by hand.
then let's check the final results. Gone. <laughs> it's a little bit of shit there, but it's okay. I can live with that. Okay, now I can live with the results. But one thing I've learned from today's lesson is don't ever do any type of washing except pressure washing by hand anymore. Cause it just doesn't make any damn sense as you can see for yourself. Next time I'm washing, I'm ditching that stupid hand-free washing. There's nothing like that. It's just marketing gimmick. You want to get the best result? Wash with your hands, huh? Apply some elbow grease and you'll be fine.